We're now to move one of line eight of the Yang style Tai Chi saber form. Now this movement is a kick. The height of the kick is not that important. If you can't kick really high or if you just don't feel comfortable kicking really high, it's okay to kick low. If you can kick high or want to kick high, that's great. We'll go ahead and go through it that way. I'm going to demonstrate as if I'd started the form facing you, so directly toward you is south. To my left would be east, and behind me would be north. Our last movement, left is facing to the northeast. Rooted in the right leg, barely touching the floor with the left toe. Right hand was by the side, sword pointing to the northeast as well, and left hand pushing out in front. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to step forward with the left foot. So we're going to set it down on the heel, but we're not going to turn it anywhere. We're going to leave it facing to the northeast because after we shift to that leg, we're going to have our attention going to the east. Now, when we step to the left leg, shift all of our weight there and then kick, the kick is going to the east. But if we leave that foot facing to the northeast, then it's at its 45 when we're here kicking. So it's already set up for us to go. So don't pivot that foot anywhere. Keep it facing to the northeast and just shift to it from our last movement. So from our last movement facing northeast, step to the heel. As you shift forward to that leg, you're going to turn your sword so that the blade is sharp side up. You're going to reach across, set the dull side of the blade in the crease of the elbow, and hand the sword to your left hand. So your grip is going to be the same as it was at the very beginning of the form. When we started with the sword in the left hand, whichever grip you were using then, use that one now to grab the sword when you hand it across from the right hand to the left. So once again, from our last movement, step to the heel of the left foot. As you shift to the left foot, turn the blade sharp side up, set the dull side in the crease of the elbow, and hand the sword to the left hand. You're going to extend your hand out in front of you, your right hand out in front of you, facing to the east, so that you can kick it with the right leg in the east direction. So that kick, you point the toes, you're kicking with the top of the foot, and you're kicking the hand with the top of the foot. The idea is you're giving yourself a target to kick toward when you put your hand out there. Again, from our last movement to the northeast, step to the heel of the left foot. As you set the toe down and shift to the left leg, hand the sword over to the left hand. Dull side of the blade in the crease of the elbow, holding the sword with the left hand. Extend out with your right hand, shift the rest of your weight to your left leg, and kick with the right leg. Again, from our last movement, facing northeast, step to the left heel, keep the foot pointing to the northeast. As you shift to the left leg, hand the sword over to the left arm, grabbing the handle with the left hand, dull side in the crease of the elbow. Reach out with the right hand, and you're going to kick with the right leg, kicking the hand. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I'd started the form facing this way. So this would be my south, directly away from me would be east, and behind me would be north. Our last movement, left is facing to the northeast, rooted in the right leg, barely touching the floor with the left toe. Step to the left heel, toes still pointing to the northeast. Shift to the left leg, handing the sword to the left hand, dull side in the crease of the elbow. Extend the right hand toward the east, and kick the right hand with the right leg. Again, from our last movement, facing northeast, step to the left heel, foot still facing to the northeast. As you shift to the left leg, turn the blade sharp side up, set the dull side in the crease of the elbow, grab the handle with the left hand. Extend your right hand toward the east, and you're going to kick with the right leg. Again, from our last movement, facing to the northeast, step to the left heel, foot still facing to the northeast. Shift to the left leg, handing the sword to the left hand. Extend your right hand toward the east and kick with the right leg. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I'd started this form facing away from you. So directly away from you is south. To my left is east and towards you would be north. Our last movement left is facing to the northeast, so I'm going to start facing that way. From our last movement, rooted in the right leg, barely touching with the left toe, left hand extended out in front, right hand by the hip, sword pointing in front of me. Step to the left heel. As you shift to the left foot, you're going to set the toe down and hand the sword to the left hand. So remember, it's sharp side up, dull side in the crease of the elbow, holding the sword with the left hand. From here, you finish shifting to the left leg, extend your right hand out to the east, and kick with the right leg. Again, from our last movement, facing to the northeast. Step down on the left heel. As you shift forward to the left leg, turn the sharp side up, 
setting the dull side in the crease of the left elbow, grabbing the sword with the left hand. Extend your right hand toward the east, and then kick with the right leg, hitting the hand. Again from our last movement, facing northeast. Step to the left heel. As you set the toes down and shift to the left leg, turn the sword sharp side up, set the dull side in the crease of the elbow, and hand the sword to the left hand. Root into that left leg, reach out with the right hand, and you're gonna kick the right hand with the top of your right foot here. Now I'm gonna demonstrate as if I had started the form facing this way. So this is my south, directly toward you is my east, and that would be my north. For my last movement, facing northeast, step down to the heel. Shift forward, and as you're shifting forward, you're gonna turn your left hand so that you can grab the sword when it's handed across. You're just reaching across with the right arm and just handing the sword off, so there's nothing really fancy happening there. You have the sharp side down when the sword's down next to your side here. You step, and as you shift forward, you're just turning the sword so the sharp side's up and handing it to the left hand. From there, you finish shifting your weight to the left side, reach out to the east, root in the left leg, and you're just gonna kick in front with the right foot. Again, from our last movement, step to the left heel. As you shift to the left leg, hand the sword off. Attention goes to the east, reach out with the right hand, and kick with the right leg. Notice that after I kick, I'm not dropping the foot back down to the floor. I'm keeping the knee up. So after I go through this movement and kick, I'm gonna keep the knee high and just relax the leg at the knee, dropping the foot down so it's under my knee here. Now when you're standing here with this leg up, again, make sure that the leg is hanging straight down or it can be pulled in slightly, but you don't want it pulled way back towards dropping the knee down to get your foot back farther. And you don't want your foot of the leg that's raised touching the leg that's supporting you. You want them separate. For a closer view of what the hands are doing there, after you step to the left heel, when you're shifting to the left leg, all you're gonna do with your hands is just pick up the right side and hand the sword across. So the dull side's in the crease of the elbow and you're holding the handle with the left hand, just like we started the form. So if you started the form with that spot grip where the, the sword's in between the fingers, that's how you wanna hand it off here. So you would hand it off there and then go into your kick. If you're doing the grip like I prefer, like I've been doing through the form, where you just grip the handle with the index finger going down along the handle, that's how you would hold it here if that's how you started the form. So when you come across, you're just gonna drop this hand down so it's ready to receive the sword, and you hand it off, extend out, and kick. Well, that's all that there is to the first movement of the eighth line of this form. I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you so much for watching.